That is the sound of a broken case fan. Today we're going to work on replacing this case fan with another fan, uh, a new fan, one that's not broken. First thing that we need to do though is to make note of the size of the fan. And it looks like, I think I've got that size fan. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the old fan. Before I do that, I'm going to turn off this computer. So when you're removing a case fan, there's generally four screws that hold the fan in. One here, 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 and here. And it's got to get its power from somewhere on the motherboard. In this case, there's a power connection right here. So I'm going to pull that power connection. Come around back here. I'm going to loosen the four screws. To do this, you'll use a Phillips head screwdriver. Hold on to your screws just in case you need them to reinstall the fan. A lot of times new fans will come with screws. We'll hold on to them just in case. Okay, so now that we've got that fan out of the way, we're going to put it aside and we're going to grab our replacement fan. Now when you put the fan in, you want to make sure that you've got it go in the right direction so that the the air is being circulated the right way. These fans are designed to pull air, hot air, out of the case and to push it to the outside. Sometimes you'll have multiple fans in a case where some of them will be pushing and some of them will be pulling. So it's a good idea to just make note of the orientation of your fan before you pull it out. Go ahead and put these screws back in. Once everything's secure there, you can go ahead and take the power and plug that back in. And that's it. That's how you replace a case fan on a desktop PC.